driving him in a fucking tank? I'm like, what, what branch? Army. Army? Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Uh, woke up, had a, a, a couple meetings, and then, uh, and then I joined the army. <laughs> and then I had consensual sex with somebody. So that was a uh, pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. How do you feel about the alien information that came out? Okay, this is a good one. Does anybody actually give a shit when they saw it? How can you not? No, I know, I know, I know. Bro, they confirmed aliens are real. The fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Why you all aren't building bunkers right now doesn't make sense. I'm on your side. What? Yeah, because hey, duh. The, the analogy I actually heard was the concept that Think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like, you know, you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them. No. And we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like men and women of Earth and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Shut up. That's exactly why I'm not talking to nobody in the back. You're thirsty. <laughs> Helen was minding her own business, being polite. What's your name? What is it? Rachel. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Everybody knows a bitch named Rachel, too. Everybody does. That's one of the most red flag names. Are you in school still? From where? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my god. It's easier to be cancer than what you got. Oh my god. ASU, absolutely. Your pussy tastes like jungle juice. <laughs> there ain't no way I would ever date somebody from ASU. Nah. I'm alright. <laughs> Your pussy is just a beer pong cup at this point. Elbow. Black dudes on the fat dude, that's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, how long you been out and about? 2020. 2020. Summer of 2020. Summer of 2020. Fuck recently. Were you just that bored in the house? How old are you? 20. You're 20? So you were you, Your birthday's this Wednesday? Happy birthday, man. Um, You guys gotta compete. Who sucks better dick? That is, uh, you think so? He's got home field advantage. <laughs> Alright, let's test it. Alex, get back out here. Alex, get back. <laughs> are you single? You are single? It, you're gonna die that way if you want to be fine. Anyway, you got any more room on your team? Because this shit is annoying. <laughs> oh my god. So, no public boyfriend just yet? It's complicated. He's not shit. He ain't shit? Why do you say that? Do you... Yeah. Don't cheer, you homophobes. <laughs> what, 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 made, what made him not shit? Besides you in there. Because yeah. <laughs> he was blocking the path. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. You fucking turds. No, you were fucking turds, actually. <laughs> so stupid. Um, I'm sorry. Real question. Take my belt off? If I do, will you hang yourself with it? I've never been more sure somebody's from Miami in my fucking life. I'm actually from Houston. Worse. Dry Miami. Gross. Ugh.
What school you go to? Rollins. Community College. Yeah. It's a private school. Sorry. Just say you came from money. Just say that. Paltrow's jury selection team. Is that a real thing? No. Wasn't she selling pussy scented candles? She's a what? Blog and holistic stuff. Now. She's a blog? It's called The Goop. Goop. The Goop? That sounds like what she should name her pussy scented candles. <laughs> I wish I had been more up to date on that trial. It's all over TikTok. It'll all come up on your phone now that we've talked about it. That's fucking scary. Oh, way worse. Women's basketball. <laughs> What's that? Your mom plays professional basketball? In the WNBA, yes. No way. So you definitely don't come from money. <laughs> ah! I just did something your mom could never do. I dunked on your bitch ass, dog. <laughs> that was a low blow. Oh, I'm sorry. But it was also such a layup, you know? Was your mom good? Would you say she was the Dykel Jordan of the WNBA? <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Did you get to go to a lot of games growing up? Yeah, I did. You sat courtside? Absolutely. Was it lonely? <laughs> we have to get out of here, you guys. We do. Because I have a, a fantasy WNBA team to go manage. College baseball? Oh man, you've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Right, so who went pro and didn't take you with them? Who was it? <laughs> Alright, what, what is it that you don't like about college baseball players? Oh my gosh. Uh, the, ego. Yeah. the ego of playing a, a collegiate sport at a high level? <laughs> you can't be proud about that? The seventh pitcher on the team. I love how you're clowning them for that, but Loki, you fucked the seventh pitcher on the team. <laughs> Girl, yo, your pussy is the bullpen. Do you know that? Strike one. Is just an ego thing? That's the only thing you don't like about it? Oh. He, he, you never fucked him? Damn, you couldn't even fuck the seventh pitcher on the baseball team? Damn. Strike two. Where did you go to school? You didn't go to school? You didn't go to college? Strike three, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do work wise? I uh, take care of my two younger brothers. You take care of your two younger brothers? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do after the kids are grown? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to school for forensic anthropology. You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would, like, look at dead bodies and try to figure out uh, what happened to them. Did you get to the point in the school where you were, like, face-to-face -face with a dead body? No, I, don't, I quit going to school because I lost You Wait, hold on. What? I, would you rather I not repeat that? I don't care. <laughs> she basically, she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care. Some self-care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. She was, she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, here, watch our other two kids. <laughs> <laughs>
fuck, Jesse? You're in no position. Oh my God. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> would you be like in like the morgue? Is that where where where, you, where like your work would take place? Could be. Ah, I also fucking... thought about doing like field work, so like going where the body is. Field work. Oh, Not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> <laughs> field of work, maybe, but. Um, <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, don't put me in your note. It's a good forearms on you, says your sisters. What's your name? Casey. Casey and Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you, Casey and Jesse. You guys are adorable. Where'd you guys meet? In Columbus, Ohio? You guys drove from Ohio? You're not even allowed to be gay up there. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Stay down here. Well, well, uh, maybe. Let's go west a little bit. Yeah. Um, you got here yesterday. And you going back tomorrow? Did you guys do anything fun for Easter? Repent, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys go to church this morning? You had food poisoning? Fuck. Eating the wrong fish. <laughs> That's Jesus saying clean up your life. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now what's Penn's mechanical exactly in, in Columbus? It's like a, like a an arcade bar. Like um, pinball machines and stuff like that. Nice, just work on your finger and just... <laughs> Interesting. Do you remember who would you come out to first? You don't mind me asking. Your friends? And did they know? They were like, yeah, bitch, you, you look you dress like that, you don't skateboard at all. <laughs> You're young, you don't have to do it anytime soon. What would you ever want, kids, you think? If I'm rich. If you're rich? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to stop working out in an arcade bar. <laughs> That's step number one. <laughs> I go through backpacks like crazy, like because I fly so much and they always fuck up my bags. It's always the, like the, the the lining on like where the strap meets the actual backpack. It gets fucking torn. I'm always carrying so much shit. I, I go through more straps than you guys do. <laughs> I was trying to get to it. I was like, how can I how can I squeeze that in without any lube? You know. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute, man. I wish I was gay. Yeah. I'd never pay for a <laughs> You calm down back there before I have her come back there and peg the shit out of you. Okay? I swear to God. What gets in the way the most? Communication, I guess. Communication. That's a big one. <sighs> well, it doesn't always need to be verbal, you know. I'm sure you guys are pros at reading lips. <laughs> you know, settle it, rock, paper, scissors. You know? Like adults. You got your foot up on the stage to hold you hella comfortable, man. What, what kind of work you need those boots for? Electrical contractor. Electrical contractor, nice. You ever been electrocuted? I have. Well, yeah. shocked. You been shocked? Yeah. Like finding out your daughter's a lesbian? <laughs> You did IVF, Inver, infertile, in, uh, uh, <laughs> infertile vitro asphyxiation. <laughs> they put eggs yeah. and semen inside you, yeah. and then they just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my impression of them after an argument. <laughs> Did you know it was going to be two? Like, did you know you were selecting twins? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. You had to choose the sex. You can't do that. Canceled. 
Cancel, 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 cancel. Shame. This is what I was talking about, man. With Nashville, so funny. You guys were like, no school shooting stuff. But I was like, a little bit of transphobia? And you guys were like, yeah! <laughs> we're back in it, baby! Uh, yeah, you can't make fun of the kids, just the shooters. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> so trash. <laughs> Buffalo, dude. Buffalo. <laughs> You saw me barely touch it, right? Is it, Don't make oh, that one right there? You knew this was gonna happen. That's why there was a backup. Oh, god damn it. Oh. Let's see. How do I... Hey guys, I don't work at Radio Shack. <laughs> Fucking telling me how to do equipment stuff. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go. It's also loose, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta hold my shit like a rapper. The whole show. Let's go. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, is there a wireless one? Oh, shit. We got options? Okay. I'm gonna put this back. It's on now. Check, check. Nope, nope, nope. So what do y'all want to do after this? <laughs> it's on now, right? else to do like, <laughs> it's not it's still not on I can go back to that one all right here we go let's fuck it yeah that'll be fine we can just leave the the core of this one off that's okay I'm not you see I'm not even touching it right like that's I, this shit's bound to move around. The wireless not shit be good enough. <laughs> Bro, this shit feels <laughs> Bro, This shit feels like I'm like the base of an orgy and I'm just like ah, eh, eh, and then, and then the, whole the whole fucking time. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I fucking hate this city, man. I just feel like this shit would never happen in Albany. I wish I could turn y'all's mic off right now. I really do. <laughs> Are married? Yeah. How long? Five years. Five years. Congratulations. Thanks. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, when we were four and five. When you were four and five. Yeah. Well, you're not nine and ten, so I'll tell you. <laughs> where was this? Yeah. You grew up together. No way. Across. You fucked the neighbors. <laughs> oh my god, that's some wholesome shit right there. You hopscotch your way into some pussy, man. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> That's so adorable. Aww. How'd you shoot your shot? We were swimming. You were swimming? Yeah. <laughs> it's unhygienic from what I've heard. Um, chlorine or a river? It was a pool above ground? Yeah. Was it really? Oh, man. Do you know? Do you know how impeccable your game has to be to get some pussy in an above-ground pool? 
God damn, I wish I had a sketch, dude. Because that is such a funny visual. But I imagine him just like picking her up and putting her on the side of the pool. And she's just up like this and the side folds down. <laughs> and then that giant gush of water is just like... <laughs> He's like, damn, you wet. <laughs> While she's just being waterboarded on the grass. Just... <laughs> you guys can get the visual, right? Like, you... <laughs> you guys are dressed like the Wiggles, you know that, right? <laughs> like in Fifty Shades of Sacramento. Like you guys are all different. Did you purposely dress in, in different colors? I saw my face on the shirt. That was the least concerning part of the entire organization. It was really the color coordination is, is what's really impressive. Yellow, red, kind of pinkish, and then, and then green. Nice. Uh, those photos are trademarked, though, and I'm going to need $35,000. Uh, we're going to have to press charges. And you guys look like you have the money. So I'm fucked up. I'm following through for sure. I'm sorry, I've just never met a pallet of pussy before. This is... I feel like I'm trying to fuck in like the paint section of, of Home Depot. He was like, mm. Mm. You live in Washington State or DC? Is a Bigfoot up there? I haven't found him yet. You haven't found him yet? Keep looking. And make him wear the blue blazer when you find him. <laughs> I, I can't get over the Wiggles design, but I really can't. Like it's <laughs> what's your guys' song? Good pussy, yummy, yummy. Good pussy, yeah, yeah. You squish it. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the fucking songs, dude. Are you guys all single? Kinda. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> Only in Sacramento or what? Is it... What's that? Is it going on TikTok? It depends on how much of a disaster your lives are. I don't know. You're single. I am. What about you? I'm married, but I'm, I'm available for free drinks. Married, but available for free drinks. You out of your fucking mind? You know what? It makes total sense that you're the one dressed like a red flag. That actually takes total sense. This completely checks out. Wow. Okay. So married. Married. Single. Divorcing. Divorcing. Oh. Green flag. <laughs> Look at that shit. Nice. Yeah, they're so... And, and then caution. Like, what's your deal? You know what I mean? You're just, you're just, you're just kind of single floating around. Like, well, we'll see. Yield. <laughs> Should have left ten minutes ago. Yeah, we got to wrap this up because I'm trying to... I'm trying to go back to the hotel and taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> tremendously good. Is weed legal in Alabama? It's not. It's not. Good, because I I personally love to vape. Uh, just regular, just regular, um, just regular. It's a hookah stick. It's pure nicotine. How cool are the cops? How cool are the cops gonna be? I feel like I feel like this this, this scene in um, fucking Gladiator. Just fucking give me a. Why'd you let me do that? Shouldn't have done that. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for it's it's been a white privilege. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, you do not have a white privilege card. Let me see this. White privilege trumps everything. Wow, dude. There's a back? Yes. This card grants its bearer happiness and success because it's the color of your skin and not the choices you make that determine your abilities to be successful. <laughs> Dog.
that. All right, now give me the N-word pass. Trades, tradesies, tradesies. Tra yeah. Nope. Y'all thought, y'all thought, y'all thought. A white man owns the company that sells these. Really? <laughs> well, if that isn't reparations. That's a beautiful thing right there. A black man selling white privilege. That, you know. I love 2023. I'm actually totally okay with that. How did you know he had the cards? We've been in line. We're all friends now. He pulled out the card in line? That might be the whitest thing to do, by the way. <laughs> you, you, you ever heard of white privilege? Yeah, I know it's a thing. No, it's really a thing. You gotta, you gotta know a guy. You gotta, you, gotta, sorry, you gotta know a couple guys. You gotta know a group of guys. We all meet on Wednesdays. We all wear white. You should really come in line. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good time. It's, uh, Thirteen, like the amendment. <laughs> How far along are you? Seven months. Seven months. Oh my God, it's almost here. <laughs> it fucking hurts, right? Yeah. What would, if you could compare, like a guy having to go through, like what do you think we would have to go through to to, to experience something like that? Uh, anal. Anal. <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, I would imagine. I think like it's, it's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before, you know? <laughs> That's basically anal, you know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this, this was light work, you know what I mean? Nothing, bro. <laughs> No. <laughs> Mila and... Umberto. Roberto? Umberto. Umberto? Sure. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but okay. What about you, Umberto? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff. You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, I, I was just fucking around up here. It's a cool name. <laughs> and you've never shot anybody? You've shot in somebody. <laughs> does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that that's so dangerous? It does? If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead? Yeah. It's not, it, no, that, he could just be cheating. Like, it's not, it's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking... Oh, y'all read a book. I, I've got ESPN. <laughs> y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Boy, you making me scared. Don't do that. Jesus Christ. Especially in the dark. I can't even fight you back there, dog. It's... Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? What? You ain't a nigga, but act like one. Given a script, <laughs> I just played the part. Okay, I want to thank the academy. <laughs> I seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help. Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I guess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? The blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. this it's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you, Grandma. You're a grandma? Yeah. Let's put that shower chair to use. There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? How old are you? Say it. Say it. This is dirty talk to me. Come on. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, from, are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. We gotta get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis at least. Let's just get you, out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. <laughs> Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? Wow. That's enough though, right? You have your tubes tied? You do? I'ma fucking move to the morning. Yeah. Uh. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Uh, I'm the oldest out of nine. Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever, unless, unless, um, uh, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? Your daughter? <laughs> this is your daughter? Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is, I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? <laughs> this is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position, but. She's in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. Maybe later on this year. She looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next 10 years, and then we'll, we'll trade up. <laughs> Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing your kids. Losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. But if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. <laughs> now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram recently? Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. 
I mean, you're not going to ask for ugly people's advice. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTime me. With just a tit out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Because, <laughs> like, you know it's in the palm of your hands. <laughs> ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTime <laughs> Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? Do you, do, you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? Like, you know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and, uh, gross. But I'm glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. Show sure did. Show sure did. And, um... I don't know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, Mom. I love you. Bye, you. bye Maggie. <laughs> Hear them? What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked them up? <laughs> Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um, <laughs> prove it. <laughs> what do you? They make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what? What? What sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. <sighs> Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina. And I. <laughs> I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You. Was that a real thing? has a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh. What? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids? You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. Milk. Silicone. Has anybody ever dated somebody that they felt like because of how religious they were, it was kind of like a hindrance to the relationship? Yes. Did you, did you really? He was a preacher? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what religion? Oh. Air Apostle? <laughs> he sold shirts? Pentac Pentac penicillin? <laughs> what is that? Um, Lucky you. <laughs> I'm not Pentecostal, but I can read lips. <laughs> I'll be okay. What was his nationality? He was white. 
Okay, just wanted to make sure this wasn't just regular Spanish. <laughs> and you were like, ah! <laughs> how, how old was he? 23. How old are you? 21. 21, okay. Was Preacher like his full-time job? He's not speaking in tongues, he's just, just talking shit. God, God. <laughs> you don't know if he was like talking to the devil or describing his work. Like, you flush it, it's gonna... <laughs> Somebody left a demon in this toilet. <laughs> That's disgusting. 21. Have you seen anybody now? Nice. Okay. No. What? Oh, it could be a good person. Where'd you meet this guy? I met him at a frat party. <laughs> Have you learned nothing? How in what world do you think that's better? <laughs> okay. You traded holy water for fucking jungle juice. <laughs> you don't have any kids or anything, right? No. No? Okay, good. You're 21 in Kentucky, that's like late. So I, didn't know. <laughs> I know some 21 year old grandmas who live, who live in fucking <laughs> Louisville, you know what I mean? Oh! What the fuck that is, dude? I'm not pronouncing it like I've got a dick in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Use all your fucking letters, okay? What are you guys, fucking British? <laughs> Bro? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? Uh, careful, dog. Careful. <laughs> do y'all watch Criminal Minds? <laughs> All right, hey, one handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm a Shawar Moore. I told him when I got here, I've been watching him on YouTube. And I, I, I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person, like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching him, and me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny, you're, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt Wright. Motherfucker, but you ain't gonna fuck. Uh, <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy who wants to say nigga so bad <laughs> because all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it because he'll get guessed. But when he comes to my house, I'm gonna say, get it out of your system. is because I have never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube. And I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny. And he's pretty. And, and no, they're like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm going to come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets. 
for free. <laughs> so I'm going to get off the stage, but I just want to say, I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. Uh, and I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right. And whatever it is in his heart, and with all, all his jokes and all of that stuff, and I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of nicks. Because I think he can handle himself. But my point is, let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. Anybody gay? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? <laughs> Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate shit. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Axel by Axel. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, it's a gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Actually, my best friend. You let your best friend pick your name. Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, your name Baby Dick. From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How did you how did you land on Axel? <laughs> you built like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you built like a transmission, but that's a Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some, we should go get some bitches after this. Let's go. I had a 14 year ago, so I am down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation, biologically? Okay, gotcha. Why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a drag king, so I met him doing drag. No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gunner Down. Gunner Down. With Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Your cookies? Do I want what kind of? Chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now.
Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> you my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't. Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray, even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's, like there's a, a cutter. A cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity. <laughs> with this bakery. Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> this shit really kicked me, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. So I just found out apparently I'm colorblind. Don't know how long that's been going on for, but man, I tell you what, shocked me too, came right out of the purple. Some people say that I've got a tiny cock, which is accurate. His name is Winston. He's my favorite. And now I have a tiny cock, at least I've got a huge pin. Wanna know how to pleasure a woman? I know this. I know this one. Guys, you listen to her. Ladies, am I wrong? Swipe out of Instagram see what else is in here. <laughs> now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. Breast, you had a lump head. in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I'm best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not going to ask for ugly people's advice. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed me. With just a tit out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Because, <laughs> like, you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Oh, Sorry, it's her name in the history. history. No. <laughs> You're a genius. You are my guardian angel. Matt's Rife. Girl, I go oh. You. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTimer. <laughs> Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? Do you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? right. You know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and, uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. See your kitties? <laughs> sure did. 
<laughs> so I did. And, um... What? You're a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know, I know, I know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, mom, I love you. Bye, Maggie. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> Bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? <laughs> careful, dog. Careful. <laughs> do y'all watch Criminal Minds? <laughs> All right, hey, one handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm a Jamar Moore. I told him when I got here, I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person, like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching him, and me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Jamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt Wright. Motherfucker, but you ain't gonna fuck. Uh, <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy who wants to say nigga so bad, <laughs> he does all his friends are black. <laughs> but you can't say it because it'll get pissed. But when he comes to my house, I'm gonna say, get it out of your system. is because I have never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube. And I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny. And he's pretty. And, and no, they're like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm gonna come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. Off this stage, but I just want to say I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right in whatever it is in his heart, in like all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of niggas because I think he can handle himself. But my point is. Let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank Respect. you, man. Respect. Thank you, bro. Respect. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. What's up? What's up? Introverts? You don't like introverts? I, I would say I'm introverted, despite this job. Like I'm, I'm pretty introverted. Are you? Are you an? Are you an extrovert? That's your thing. So you go out to parties. You like to be center of attention. Clearly. <laughs> When was his last uh, introvert that you tried dating or like he's just not getting, he's not outspoken enough? 
You married an introvert? Are you still married to him? You, but, you, but you gave him 16 years of just silence? And what was the final straw? You were like, I just can't deal with it. And he was like, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> what, what, was the, what was the final straw? Don't mind me asking. It is like therapy. You want to be an extrovert, fucking talk. No, don't. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me when I want to talk to you. Don't do it. What did, he, what did he do for work? Was he like an office job kind of guy? CPA. CPA? What's that? What is it? An accountant? Yeah, this motherfucker crunches numbers for a living. You didn't see this coming? You thought he was going to be class clown? This motherfucker eats pussy with a green visor on. Are you kidding me? You kind of should have seen that coming a little bit. You sounds like you gave, you gave him a chance, though. When I met him, he was smart. He worked at Levi's. He had all these fabulous, great, gay friends. And then it was like, after we got married, he's like, I think I want to be a young And then it was like, what? Okay, so when, when, you, when you first met him, he was in marketing, working for Levi's. For some reason, he had all these gay friends. That would seem like an unnecessary detail of the story, but you felt like you throw that out there. But I guess that's not. I've never met a gay introvert in my entire life. Even the bottoms are loud as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's still fucking his baby mama. Well, that's loyalty. It sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you bring up a family. He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. What's the problem? He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. I mean, maybe he shouldn't be he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. Four months. That's tough. That's that. This, you know what? This is a little too early to be having this many red flags. To be honest, like this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either I'd say break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? Oh, that's hot. Damn. Damn. How were they? Yeah, it sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Hey. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe. You might, be, you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> This shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking, they wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. I'm from Saudi Arabia. You're from Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> this, uh, if it, is your first time in Columbus? Mm, sorry. <laughs> Oh, you guys are from Cleveland. Oh, never mind. Enjoy Columbus. <laughs> so much better. Our crack is pure. Okay. He misses Saudi Arabia so much, he came all the way to Cleveland to find some bomb-ass pussy. Isn't that crazy? How's the comedy scene in Saudi Arabia? People, do, people, do people laugh? Yeah. Most of the men? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get your names. I'm so sorry. I'm Kaylee. Kaylee and what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it easy. I make it easy for me. Let's go. Like saying dude, but you're gonna add W, so we dude. Like dude, but with a W, we dude. But it's mean the most lover in Arabic. It means the most lover. Aww, you big dick slinger, are you? Aww. Oh, you and your weapon of mass destruction. Oh, he's so cute. Do you really want to know my full name? I, I want to know your full name more than anything. You gonna take a note?
No, I got it. It's all up here, dog. If someone said I'm going to give it whatever they want. What? Really? Yep. You'll give me whatever I want if I can yep. pronounce your name if correctly. You say my full name. Will you give me whoever I want? Yep. Oh. <laughs> you can't do that here, my dude. You can't do that. You can't just be giving people away, okay? Anymore. Hey guys, we haven't always been a cool country, okay? Ah, right, well, dude, lay it on me, dog. It's Abdul Wadud Abdul Rahim Ruh Al Amin Abdul Amin. Yo, somebody put this motherfucker in reverse. Did y'all hear that shit? Oh, sounds like somebody rewound this motherfucker. It sounds like he was like, I'm new here, I love America, Cleveland is awesome, Columbus is so much better. Take it back one more time. We have to have our parents and grandpas and great grandpas and then family. So you will be known when someone like me, you out there, uh -huh. like, oh, is that your grandpa? Oh, that's your grandson? So that's how we know each other. That was more confusing than your name was, to be honest. That was far more confusing. I love you, dog. I really do. Absolute pleasure to meet you, man. So you're a comedian too? Uh, what'd you say? Well, it's my pleasure to meet you too. Oh, you said it so right for me. <laughs> he, said, he said it with like a strong accent at first, but then he went, it is my pleasure to meet you. It's like when I turn into Siri real quick. You're a cool ass dude, man. Um, Columbus, we, uh, we gotta get out of here. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Somebody's gonna catch a flight. <laughs> get a, you know, a, a bone necklace? What is it? An alligator tooth? Did you get it yourself? No way, you want alligators? That's so cool, dude. How long have you been doing that? 10 years? Seems like an odd mid-life choice to just make, to just dive into. <laughs> How old are you? You 43? So at 33, you were like, something's missing. The fear of death. Interesting. The, uh, were you in the army before that? Oh, man. Pussy. God. Oh, my God. What did you, what did you do in the army? You kill people? Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't do shit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Being a comedian. <laughs> what do you do? You're a personal trainer. Have you ever used roids? <laughs> you have an app. You have an answer. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but when a woman uses steroids for personal training, her uh, clit grows massively. So we might not be able to fuck, but we could, I don't know, dock. <laughs> He'll rip that shit off and put it on a necklace. <laughs> Bro, that's so gross. Oh my god, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. That's so gross. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. No. No, I looked over, I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit, it's fine. It's fine, no one's gonna have a Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Adam. You just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. 
Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I need it. We're just we're gonna meet out in the back. No. No. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man. I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't skip my side of the room. She, she is very beautiful. Happy birthday. Is she your birthday? That explains it. <laughs> How old are you turning? 21. 21? That explains it. Would you like the rest, man? Come here. Fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he lied. I think he lied. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he should be. He shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Uh, what, four months. Four months. Four months. <laughs> That's tough. That's that. This, you know what? This is a little too early to be having this many red flags. To be honest, like this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either, I'd say, break up with them yeah. or also get pregnant. <laughs> Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Damn. Damn. How are they? It sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Yay. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe. You might, be the, you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> this shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking... They wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. <laughs> Just turn these lights on. Turn the house lights on. Right now. I interrupt right now. Who said more? What about what? What? What about me? I'm too cocky. Well, imagine I was like a timid comedian, and I was like, you guys, you guys ever have your your, your grandpa fuck, fuck a flashlight? Confidence is like so key. You know what I mean? Like especially to delivery. You know. Hey, I, I come quick like everybody else, okay? I'm just, I'm simply human, you know? <laughs> uh, was that it? Is, is it? is it ego thing, you think? No. No? You changed your answer. What is, what is it now? 
Huh? He told you not to do it. He told you not to do it? Yeah. You should listen to your friends. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so please, nobody give me their number. <laughs> What's that? I should give you my number. <laughs> All right, go ahead and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead, I'll take it down right now. What is it? She won't do it. <laughs> go ahead, what is it out loud? Did I get that right? <laughs> 911, right? That's what you said. Is that, is that who you call? Is that who you call to file a restraining order? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, what's your social security number? Since we just out here throwing numbers around. Neither be married. Just out here. Widowed. One year? Fuck, oh, that's so recent. Is he back on the market or what? <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? She did this. That's how old. Let's see. Turn me up. Yes, ma'am. No. I've never called a woman ma'am. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, age. 69? Yeah, you are. Oh, oh. oh, man, we about to piss a ghost off. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love your sense of humor. You're fantastic. I love, I love you being able to like laugh off this ghost. This pot's fucking Shut up, I'm taking it. <laughs> can I, this is the last thing I'm talking about. Can I, can I ask how? Or what from? Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen. Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen. Or maybe you took his breath away. <laughs> Murderer. She said when her husband was in the hospital, he was telling the doctors, like, no, this is all her fault because she took my breath away. Oh, that's so sweet. God damn it. <laughs> How do you get your name? My name yes, ma'am. What is it? Sherry. Sherry. That's old as fuck. That's <laughs> God damn. You must have been, been the one Frankie Valley was singing about. <laughs> Your cookies? Do I want what kind of chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. <laughs> Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> Be my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Boo. Who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't. Bitch, it's in the name.
Yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray, even once. There's a cutter, a cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. <laughs> Anybody else see this picture moving? This shit really kicked it, but I freaked the fuck out, bro. Anybody gay? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? Biologically, what were you born? Female. Oh, I appreciate shit. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel, my best friend. You let your best friend pick your name? Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, "Your name, Baby Dick." From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How'd you How did you land on Axel? building a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you're building a transmission. But that's a... No, I was like, where is it? I know there's something in there. <laughs> Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some. We should go get some bitches after this. <laughs> Let's go. I had a fourteen-year-old, so I am down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation biologically. Okay, gotcha. Why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? Uh, like some kind of muscle disease. A muscle disease. Yeah, and he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? I've known him for 10 years. No way. No way! What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gunner Down. Gunner Down! Oh my god! You and your 9mm? With Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a black history fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white guilt. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soaker, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? He invented the super soaker? No way! What's his name? Lonnie what? Johnson. What is it? Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. That's wrong. That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the Super Soaker, man. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What's, uh, what's, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're going to keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. 
ya. <laughs> Fuck y'all, dude. That's a good joke, man. So, can we end on a fun third? Does anybody have another one? Nope. <laughs> Not looking good, Connecticut. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> What's that? It used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month. Black History Month used to only be a week long, yeah. and then a president changed it to make, to make it the whole month. Yeah. The shortest month. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> I do want to know this, actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro! <laughs> yup. I was gonna give it a second. I was gonna say the same thing, bro. I was gonna act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. to somebody who spent Valentine's Day alone. Let's see. Virgo men are the worst. You know what's funny about this? Before I even, de before I even defend myself, I don't even care. I don't even believe in this shit, but I can't let it slide, okay? Virgo men and Aquarius men. You're Aquarius? Oh, I thought you were annoying. I'm sorry, I thought you were... I'm so sorry. I, I thought. That's my bad. Why do you think Virgo men are the worst, though? You don't fuck with them? Look, I would fuck you. I just, I haven't washed my hands since petting a dog. I just, I don't want to do that to you. It smells like an Aquarius. <laughs> What's that? Not you, though? Da all the other Aquarius, yeah, 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 the quiet ones, yeah. What's your name? Amelia. Amelia. Man, I wish you would disappear like Earhart. I really do. I really wish. Are you in school? Yeah. Flight school? No. What are you in school for? Business. Business? Like minding your own? What do you want to do with a business degree? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know what you want to do when you grow up? You don't know, no ideas? You just want to be rich. Look, it's do Nursing, you will be rich, for sure. I don't know if you're Filipino enough to make it, but... You're what? Hungarian? Your parents are from Hungary, and their and their daughters from Thirsty. <laughs> he has do match. He has the matching snakeskin boots. It's both snakeskin. Python. Yeah. Python. Fuck yeah! Not, not none of those gardener snake bitches. <laughs> These are coupled up, obviously matching. Nice. How long? Five years. Five years. Where'd you meet? In North Carolina. In North Carolina. That's specific. Where? <laughs> You met at a bar? Well, yeah, I was underage and drunk. <laughs> hey, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. <laughs> Under 21. Under 21, okay. <laughs> you almost ruined the show. He approached you or you approached him? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> Also not a good sign. Uh, what do you guys do? Basket weaver. Basket weaver? What the fuck, bro? You married to a fucking hunter-gatherer? What the fuck? You work for the fucking Easter Bunny, dog? It's coming up, that time of the year. That's actually how he got her at the bar. He just he laid down a trail of eggs. It was like... 
And then he had one of those big picnic baskets up on a stick like this, and then she went underneath it, and he went, ah, got her. <laughs> like a fucking Looney Tune. <laughs> How long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five, five years? Did she take your fucking manhood, dog? What did you do beforehand? Work at a steel mill? Coal mines. Coal mines? Are you serious? Man made you start weeping baskets. Um, sorry. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on, man. It's just us. You enjoy the job? It's fine. What would you like to do if you could do anything in the entire world? Any job? Fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Interesting. Man, I, I used to love helicopters, but I'm also a Lakers fan. And you know what's fucked up? He's wearing a black mamba on his feet. <laughs> Can I see one of the boots? Are you able to take one of them off? This is the real deal, man. This is some real shit right here. <laughs> Smell his boot. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. As if, as if I would ever. Damn it. <laughs> That's for me? Yeah. What is it? It's a Build-A-Bear. You got me a Build-A-Bear? Yeah. Why? It's a voice message too in it. It has a voice yeah. message? From your show where you oh. said if someone got you a Build-A-Bear. Oh my god. So I did, I did a TikTok one time where the girl in the audience was saying it was a red flag that a guy brought her a Build-A-Bear on a first date. <laughs> yeah. And I had said in the video, I was like, I would love if somebody brought me a Build-A-Bear. So you brought me one? Yeah. I gotta do more jokes about getting my dick sucked. <laughs> What am I doing with all this cute shit? Oh god, thanks I guess. This is so sweet, thank you. Oh, your numbers are on here. It might still happen. It might still happen. We can use them for cleanup. Can I take them out of here? Yeah. This is so cute. Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? <laughs> That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, psst, looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voice my one? Yeah, press his paw. Press his paw? What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck It might be the other That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go.